Uh, now then, uh, as violent disorder has continued across parts of the UK over the last week, a number of shops and businesses have been hit by a wave of vandalism and theft, leaving retail staff fearing for their safety. Yeah, the British Retail Consortium that represents retailers and shops is now warning that its members are braced for more unrest. Today, it's going to chair a meeting with retailers, government officials and crime agencies about what they can do. Uh, Nina's looking into this for us, Nina. It's a real problem, isn't it? it People is. are already feeling under pressure in retail settings. And this just adds to their problem. Yeah, a really worrying time for lots of people who work in shops. Uh, yeah, those worrying scenes that we've been seeing in England and Northern Ireland have affected dozens of shops and businesses. Let's have a look at some of the towns and cities that have been hit. So in uh, Middlesbrough, as you can see, uh, cars were set alight, missiles thrown at police and windows of homes were smashed as unrest developed on Sunday. Cleveland police say 30 people have been charged in connection with the disorder. Over in Hartlepool, a farm shop was set, was at the centre of violent clashes which saw its windows smashed. Now, this comes less than a month after the shop celebrated 70 years of trading. And then we move to Sunderland, where the Citizens Advice Centre was gutted, as you can see there, a fire. It was targeted during Friday's unrest. The centre's chief officer said she's worried now that they won't be able to provide support to some of the city's most vulnerable people. And there were scenes of vandalism and looting at some shops in Hull. One of the worst affected uh, was this retailer, Lush. Uh, we spoke to the head of retail who described what happened. We saw live on social media it play out that a large group of people started to penetrate the windows and the forced entry through the doors and created chaos. We had products stolen, uh, products smashed against the wall, we had technology taken and damaged, the windows were broken, the door was forced open. So, yeah, just a complete, we came into a complete mess. Well, let's speak with Helen Dickinson, Chief Executive of the British Retail Consortium, which represents shops and will today host an emergency meeting. And um, Good morning to you. I'm sure you've heard a number of very distressing mm. accounts from some of your members over the past week. Talk us through some of them. Well, those pictures really bring it all to life, don't they? Some real devastating impacts on our communities up and down the country. But more importantly, and the big focus certainly for all retail businesses on is on keeping their, you know, the people, the teams of people who serve their customers day in, day out as safe as they can in the circumstances and making sure that both they and their customers um, are kept safe. So, so that's really the big priority and that's the reason why we are gathering many of our members um, t together this morning. And you can imagine it must have been absolutely terrifying for thousands of people who work in those shops on the high street. And, but also the impact on businesses as well. As we know, high street's already facing a struggle. And today, as a preliminary measure, some retailers are deciding to just keep those shutters down. They are. We will see um, some impacts in terms of um, shorter opening hours or temporary closures. But... The vast, vast majority of shops up and down the country are continuing to serve their customers as usual. What we don't know really yet is, is the, the significance of the business impact. What we do know is over the course of certainly the weekend and the days last week and earlier this week is that we are seeing footfall. So the number of people coming in to some of our city centres begin to fall quite significantly. And that obviously will have an impact on businesses. But the real focus at the moment is on people and making sure that, uh, that, it, that, that employees and customers are kept safe. And to what extent, Helen, does this form part of a much wider worrying mm. picture we've heard in recent years about mm. the number of assaults and aggression against staff in retail has been mm. on the rise? It has. Our data has shown that that has um, risen significantly over the, the last few years and particularly taken an, an uptick since, since COVID. Over 1,300 incidents of violence and abuse a day. And this was before um, what we've seen over the last 10 days or so. What we did see is the previous government commit to a standalone offence for violence and abuse against a retail worker, and that commitment has been carried forward by the new government. So we really look forward to that being put in place and the police commitment to uh, make sure that they are responding to all the incidents that get raised with them 
in order to focus on really uh, bringing that um, colleague safety um, front and center uh, in our communities up and down the country. Helen, thank you so much for your time this morning. Um, let's hope the outcome of today's meeting brings uh, better protection for staff because, Sarah and Ben, nobody deserves that, just going into work on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday morning, just trying to go about the business and to come under attack like that. It must be terrifying for people on the shop floors. Yeah, absolutely right, Nina. Thank you.